Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install an outdoor light. I'll be showing you some tips and tricks that I use to install lights. Before I begin, I just want to emphasize, if you're not competent in working on electrical installations, please do hire a qualified and insured electrician. Today's tutorial is just an educational video to show you how I approach installing lights. So I can't emphasize enough, if you're considering doing any electrical work, please, please, please hire a, a qualified electrician that is insured. So with that, let's get into the, the install and uh, I'll start showing you some tips and tricks that I use for the installation. Today I'm going to be installing a bulkhead light and typically what I do uh, before I begin the installation is I unpackage the light and I just determine what fittings need to go where, uh, what screws uh, and how I'm going to feed into the cable. Into. So typically what I do first is I take, take off the cover and I take a look inside. Once you've the screws off, carefully take off the, the cover. So what I normally do when I'm installing lights, I like to put the put the screws back into the fittings. That way then you won't lose them. You can see an array of LEDs. Uh, some some lights only have one uh, light color. This particular uh, bulkhead has two light colors. So you have uh, a white light and a a warm light. Warm light very very similar to, to sunlight. Uh, these dipper switches uh, allow you to change the the light colors, but I'm just going to use the the default. So next, I need to to take off this electronic board carefully. Maneuver the electronic circuit board until you can see the internal wiring. So at the back here, with this particular bulkhead, has a quick disconnect on it. So all you need to do is press down on that and pull it, and you disconnect the LED array board from the LED driver. So I just place that carefully into the cover so it doesn't get damaged. Next thing I look at is the uh, terminals for the light. So I can see here that this is the live terminal. There's a spare terminal here for terminating my earth. And this is the, the neutral terminal. Uh, the next thing I look at is where the, the grommet is for uh, inserting the cable. So as I can see from here, uh, it's located here. So just in terms of trying to have the light uh, center, if it's over a back door or on a wall, uh, you need to be conscious of where the, the cable is going to be inserted. So the next thing I typically do is uh, I just identify the holes that I'm going to use to mount the light. So in this example, I'm going to be using these, these four here. Uh, so they're, they're plastic inserts. So what I typically do is I just drill four little pilot holes and what that allows me to do then is when when I'm mounting the light then is to get a screw and it just allows me to uh, insert the screw through the pilot hole and drill into the, the surface uh, that might be timber it might be plastic or it might be concrete uh, so if it's concrete you normally have an SDS drill um, in my example I'm going to be mounting this on the facial of the the house so uh, these type of screws are absolutely fine so to do that uh, typically what I do is, I'll just put on my safety glasses, I get a drill and I normally get a small drill bit and all I'm going to do is this hole, these holes are just so that's the base unit ready to be mounted. One other thing before uh, before I finish up on just preparation before the, the install. Uh, typically what I do then is uh, I like to just have a, a little little hole or a little notch here. So 
some people have different techniques for this but what I typically do is I, I just drill a little hole and what that does then it just I suppose gives you a little maneuvering that when you're inserting the cable then that you can just widen this the screwdriver like so and typically what will happen is the the cable will come in here the cable will come in in here from the base unit come through this and I, I normally like to make sure that it's nice a nice tight seal that there's no no chance of any water uh, coming through through the grommet uh, if the if the cable is quite big or if you have two cables what I normally do is I, I just give a slight nick here and what that does is it just gives you a little bit more movement when you put in the cable uh, that you have a little bit of flexibility to to get it in the, the small hole uh, don't over drill this uh, don't make the hole too big uh, if the hole is too big, what will happen is that uh, the water will will start to permeate through the the grommet and into into the light fitting. So it's 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 imperative that you you just make the hole as, as small as possible. And then if you need to make it a little bit wider, then I I typically use the screwdriver or um, I use the snips just to snip around the hole. So that's basically it uh, with the preparation. So the next thing to do is to mount the actual base unit. Uh, and once you have the base unit, uh, then you wire in your cable. Once you have the base unit mounted up and your cable fed through, then it's a matter of just wiring into the unit and reassembling all the, the components back together again. To ensure the power is turned off, I test beforehand. So this circuit is currently live. So I need to disconnect it from the main switch and from the fuse board. The circuit is now electrically safe to work on. The first thing you need to do is make sure to put on your, your grommet. You need to make sure that there's a little hole to let the cable through and you need to make sure that the orientation of the grommet is correct as seen because you want to make sure that this is this is watertight that no water can permeate through into the main bulkhead so first what you do is you feed in your cable you just need to align your light and get in the first screw reference up the light so I wanted a boat here so screw in your first screw and then once you have the first screw in you can do some some adjustments so I'm just going to make sure the line's okay that's fine for me Screw in my second screw. So I just make sure that it's good and secure and tight, which it is. Next thing I'm going to do is terminate the cable. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to wire in my art live and neutral. So I go with the art first. Again, there's there's no no art actually connected in this light, but I'm still going to wire it into the terminal. Next, I wired the neutral. Next, a wire in the live. Once you have your cable terminated, your live neutral and earth, what you need to do then is 
reconnect the board with the quick disconnect. Be careful not to damage the board. It should slide down. Like that. So what you so what you have now is the four screws and you can easily then just reference up to the correct holes. Just be careful to align it. Make sure to tighten the screws so the uh, the LED arrays the board is nice and secure to the base unit. Just check it and verify it. So before you put on the cover, just turn back on the breaker and turn on the light and just verify that the light is, the light is working fine. Carefully put the cover back on with the two screws make sure that the cover is secure to the base unit. Don't over tighten the screws. That's it folks. That's how to wire an outdoor light. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching the, the video. And if you like the content, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll have some interesting videos in the coming weeks on various projects that I'm working on.